Today's topic is asbestos poisoning. Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral that was used in many building materials and homes for many years. It's been banned for use in new construction, but it can still be found in older buildings and homes. If a material or construction containing asbestos is damaged or broken down, fibers can become airborne and be inhaled by humans. These fibers can enter the lungs and cause serious health problems, including lung cancer and mesothelioma. The health risks associated with asbestos poisoning can vary depending on how much exposure you have had and what type of disease or condition you developed from those exposures. What causes asbestos poisoning? Asbestos fibers are small enough that they can be inhaled deeply into your lungs without being noticed by your body. Once inside your body, asbestos fibers will begin to cause inflammation within those cells lining your lungs, alveoli, or lining other organs like your heart or kidneys' mucous membranes. Over time, this inflammation causes scarring on these tissues which stops them from working properly, creating breathing problems like emphysema, chronic cough, asthma attacks, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, emphysema. Symptoms of Asbestos Poisoning The exposure to asbestos doesn't cause immediate symptoms, but when it enters the lungs, it can take years before the lungs are scarred and the symptoms appeared. Asbestos exposure can cause a number of symptoms, including shortness and difficulty in breathing, persistent dry cough, hearing crackling sounds from the lungs when inhaling air during breathing, clubbed fingers, which means fingers that are way more round and wide than usual, chest pain, and sometimes the symptoms may be accompanied by coughing up blood. Treatment of Asbestos Poisoning Currently, there is no treatment or cure that can reverse the damage of asbestos to the affected lungs. But a person who has symptoms and thinks that they may have been exposed to asbestos should talk to a doctor immediately. In the early cases, the doctor may be able to prescribe some pulmonary exercises and oxygen therapy to help manage and slow the progression of the disease. But, still, patients with asbestos poisoning have a high risk of developing complications like lung cancer, mesothelioma, which is also a cancer that affects the tissue around the lungs, heart, or testicles. And finally, pleural disease, which is the thickening of the lungs lining. Patients who smoke have a high risk of developing these complications. So, it is important for the patient to stop smoking if he has been diagnosed with asbestos poisoning. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.